Hello, this is Dr. Linda Martinez Louie. I want to speak with you about gifted covert narcissists fool most people. This podcast refers to both male and female covert narcissists. I have become more and more aware of the dark gifts of covert narcissists. Their act is so smooth that it deceives most of us. Even highly trained therapists, psychiatrists, custody judges, social workers, domestic law attorneys, and the list goes on. Don't be surprised if you have been compromised by the gifted, covert, narcissistic man or woman who makes you believe that he or she is genuine and deeply cares about you and wants you in his life. His words and manner are so convincing. The eyes sparkle and hold yours. They glide perfectly out of his or her mouth. He knows exactly how to move toward you, give you a certain look that's very hard to resist. And many of us can't. We are taken, hooked, filled with a desire, a sense of wanting to get closer to this person. Our frontal lobes are temporarily out of commission. That's the initial power of the presence of these clever seducers. They strike us as genuine with enough vulnerability to be convincing. The false self of the covert narcissist, narcissist charmer type is exquisitely honed like a fine piece of ancient 22 karat gold. This type of covert narcissist is oozing with charm, the kind that gets under our skin and won't go away easily. These guys learned to be unforgettable long ago. Many covert narcissistic men are golden boys of mothers who worship them. They were prized from the moment of conception, celebrated at birth, treated like princes, adored for their handsomeness, precociousness, which was emphasized and rewarded by mother, who was often a narcissist herself kept the center of attention despite other children in the family who were treated like afterthoughts. Early on, these gifted coverts, male and female, knew there was nothing they could not achieve and no one whom they couldn't convince or they couldn't control intellectually, psychologically, and emotionally. There are ways to help yourself make the discrimination between the covert narcissist and the genuine person. If everything about this individual is too good to be true, too perfect, pay attention. Very likely it is. Listen to your intuition and the messages that are pouring into you. You will hear warnings. They may be faint at first, but if you are tuned in, the messages become clearer and stronger. Stay away. Give yourself credit for knowing exactly what another person wants from you. The narcissist always has something in mind. He doesn't give himself for free. There are big strings and conditions attached to what he or she is promising. Listen to the music, not just the words, which make you want to give in to this person. Covert narcissists use secrecy and stealth to control your emotions and weaken you you emotionally and psychologically. Covert narcissists demean and humiliate you when you are the most vulnerable. Covert narcissists convince others that they are good people who can be trusted and are worthy of respect. The covert is obsessed with ultimate control over others, especially those closest to him. Covert narcissists constantly plot and plan how to manipulate and exploit exploit everyone who is not dancing to their tune. Learn how to recognize the covert narcissist by studying his hidden traits, baits, and snares. They play the good person or the martyr roles to the hilt. They are like fine method actors. If you don't recognize them at first, don't blame yourself. They are so clever and smooth with their psychological camouflage, they are very difficult to detect. Always pay close attention to your intuitive knowings, the cues. 
that you are receiving and don't wave them off as irrational or insignificant. Develop a regular practice of psychological, emotional, and mental grounding. This includes a form of guided meditation, regular meditation, prayer, affirmations, quiet times with nature, and other forms of activity that are calming and restorative. Part of this practice is instilling a sense of firm respect for your personal psychological boundaries. As you move through each day, develop a deep appreciation for your, for your unique, authentic, original self.